So this is one where the palatability is a bit argued. It's from Australia. It's an Australian book, bush taka. Okay. So in Australia, people eat it. Some people say you eat it. I've heard other people tell me you can't eat this. Okay. And but naturally, you eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's full of uh, little seeds. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a solanium, so it's related to uh, eggplants and tomatoes mm -hmm. and uh, nightshade and a lot of poisonous fruits. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. I don't eat the seeds, I spit the seeds out. Okay. But it's called kangaroo apple. Kangaroo apple. Both in the solanum genus. Mm hmm. I'll try it. Yeah, I, I can't say no. All right. It's nice knowing you guys. Yeah. It's pretty good. I kind of like a tomatillo. I mean, not tomatillo, a tamarillo. A tree tomato. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to swallow the seeds. So give me one second to get rid of these before I talk much. They're the problem with this is though those seeds are very tiny. You can see that in there, that one little seed there. Mm-hmm. I yeah. say it's unlikely that I managed to spit out all the seeds. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so probably like a little bit poisonous. Probably not the safest thing to eat. The flavor though is pretty good. Good. It does taste like um like a little tomato-y. Grow these cat guinea things. Nice. Those are green. Those are the green ones. The flavor is sweet. It's got like a little bit of tartness to it. A little bit of that tomato taste. A little bit of like a berry kind of flavor to it. Yeah. You like it more than I do. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm i a little hesitant to, to tell everybody, oh my god, this is delicious, because uh, I'm afraid people will... Poison themselves. Will all get poisoned, yeah. But it's uh, it's not bad. Not the best thing I've had, but for solanium, yeah. I like it better than nightshade. <laughs> cool. Onward to the nightshades. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, nightshades are really interesting. I like the fact that there's like a certain kind of like danger quality to it, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like didn't like for the longest time people thought tomatoes were poisonous. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so it's they can be delicious or they can kill you. Yep. These ones are maybe somewhere between those two. We have a uh, another Solnium genus here. Let's see the little flowers there; those are kind of cute. And here's some of the berries. What is the the name of this one? This is one that was sold by Baker Creek as a uh, orange nightshade from Italy. Orange nightshade. Yeah. Okay. And this and it's one. It's supposed to be edible. Okay, it's supposed to be edible. That's what Baker Creek said. Okay. But you haven't had it, and you're using me as a guinea pig. I've eaten it. I've okay. eaten it. I, okay. I didn't die. I'm still right. alive, so I'm pretty sure it's not too bad. Okay, that's good to know. Pull the stem off the part, yeah. What's interesting, you see the seeds just like sitting in there. Like the skin of it is like translucent. So you can see all those seeds inside. That's kind of cool. It tastes good. Yeah. They're a little tart. A little tomato tasting. They're really small, so... Yeah, they're quite small. But... I got so many bizarre flavors in my mouth right now from all the different things. I want to say that this tastes like root beer, but the last thing you gave me tasted like root beer. <laughs> I think that's... Yeah. So I think it's a little crossover. Yeah. But behind the root beer taste that's not, not in this fruit, it does taste uh, a little bit sour, like a little sour tomato. Not like a whole lot of flavor, but it's good. It would be something good to make like a jam out of if it doesn't kill you. Okay, I only have one minute, so we have to make this fast. Guys, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell. I don't know what the bell does, but it probably gives an angel its wings, so click on it. That dislike button, don't click that one. Uh, go to the comments, leave a comment if you have something to say. 
go to this description, because in the description there is a link to my Patreon page where you can help contribute to my channel and make it grow. There's also a link to my website where you see a backlog of videos, more information, and also uh, you can buy a t-shirt at my website now. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day. Smarter Every Day is a mega contributor on Patreon. They're really helping me out. If you like what I'm doing with Fruit, check out his channel because it basically covers everything involved in science. It's really interesting. Also around there, there should be there should be a couple of videos right here. These are the videos to my next week's episode, if it's up, and last week's episode, where you can check that out. I still have three seconds, guys, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.